Previously on a quick buck. <laughs> oh, hey Joey, uh, how was your Christmas break? <laughs> you must be the other roommate Keith's talking about. <laughs> Welcome to the madhouse, I guess. <sighs> and now for the thrilling conclusion. Hey guys. Uh, Keith, I, uh, really missed your home cooking. <laughs> well, thanks, Joey. You know, at least someone appreciates what I do around here. What are you talking about, Keith? I never once complained about your cooking. And right you should, and I put a lot of effort into these, Buck. Oh, the beans are ready. I could have sworn I'd eat more than this. Oh, you're a fast eater, Joey. Yeah, uh, what can I say? I'm Italian. You know, it's, uh, it's kind of my thing. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Beans are gonna be another two minutes. You know what, Keith? This is really great, this food. Hi. Yeah, um, thanks for the food. It was, uh, I'm, I'm real full now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no problem at all, Joey. You know, I'll save you some beans for later if you don't want to eat them now. Yeah, that's great. Uh, oh, speaking of greatness, I got you a present over the break. Oh, really? You shouldn't have. Yeah, uh, family was going to be dropping it off any minute now. Wow. That's it. Is he always like this? Like what? Like he's trying to sell you a pickup or something. <sighs> don't be ridiculous. There you go. Oh, it's just like what Mozart used to play. Yeah, I know how much you like music, so I uh, went out and got you this. Keith, you don't even play music. I'm gonna learn, Buck. Oh, this is a fantastic gift, Joey. But why does this sticker say property of John oh, Harris? That, oh, that? That's, uh, that's just a little joke, you know? Uh, it's funny. Oh, yeah, I get it. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh, that's really funny, Joey. All right. Oh, man, this is fantastic. I'm going to go set it up right away. <laughs> yeah, all right. So, Joey. Joey. Hmm. What classes are you in this semester? Oh, I'm not actually in school. I'm just uh, living here helping out Keith, uh, you know? Yeah. He's a real good roommate. Yeah. Hey, uh, you want to buy a pickup truck? I got a real good one for you. Low, low price. Great quality. Be perfect for you. Listen, Keith, I gotta talk to you about Joey. Not right now. I'm practicing my art. Yeah, look, uh, don't you find him kind of odd? Like, he always sounds like he's trying to buy you, and he even got you this keyboard. I mean, where does he get that kind of money? Look, Buck, he works at a very successful jam factory, all right? Not everybody fits into your naive, simplistic view of the world. <sighs> what? Okay, clearly somebody who dresses that nicely is not going to be a bad person, okay? Uh, he's just a successful, accomplished business person who cares a lot about his appearance. <sighs> Unlike some people I could mention, who've been known to wear suspenders on the outside of their pants. Look, Keith, I think you're wrong about this. All right? You know, my granny used to say not to judge people by the way they look. And you know, when I first moved here, I thought you were normal. And, uh, I was right about that, of course. And, uh, well, what I'm trying to say is... Stop, all right? I'm not gonna hear another word against him. He hasn't done anything wrong. Oh my god, Keith, that's blood. Ah, <sighs> oh, you idiot, I just told you he works at a jam factory, all right? Sometimes he spills some jam on the floor. <laughs> 